Hey there folks, Retros here with another MU deck uh, thingy for you. We're gonna set up retro achievements together uh, today. Um, let's see, I'm gonna switch over to the uh, smaller one so you can see uh, the, more of the screen. There we go. Uh, what I do recommend when you want to do this, um, make sure... Okay, so if you're doing this, my recommendation is make a retro achievements uh, account beforehand. Uh, I tried to do that on the Steam Deck itself, but the CAPTCHA would not have it, say on some safety th issues, I'm, I'm assuming, but just, just don't. Mm -mm -mm. If this was the password. I forgot, actually. Yes, it was. <laughs> We're successfully logged in. You also have hardcore mode, which I do not know, honestly. So basically, that is it. There's not a lot to do. You just go to the website, create your account. Real easy. Also, email verification, of course. And then you, uh, you have it logged in. Then, more info. Is there something in settings I can do? There is not. All right, and now uh, every time you play Duck Station, PC, uh, SX2, and RetroArch games, um, Duck Station, of course, uh, uh, for PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 2, and RetroArch is as I believe. Let's see here, RetroArch manage um, N64, Saturn, and Dreamcast at the very least. But there's some more. I see PlayStation One, by uh, Dreamcast, Saturn, Sega CD, Nintendo DS. All of those games will, well, not all of those games, but a lot of those games will have uh, will have achievements included in it as well. I have now um, I have now activated. So next time I will do a stream, I think with the um, Metrovania, with the uh, Castlevania game uh, on that N64. I might uh, get some uh, achievements. Um, you know what? we go back out of this I am going to switch into the uh, uh, system with a, uh, a game where I'm gonna see how it works we'll see you in a second all right that's the pop-up that's what we needed and zero achievements unlocked it recognizes the game great new game hold on wrong button there let's try it I'm going to skip through everything right now. I'm just trying this for the... Uh... Yeah. A few moments later. Seize. There we go. Basic training achievement unlocked. So in that case, we can check it right where we are, right when we're playing. As well as on the Retro Achievement website, you can have an, uh, an overview of what you've got per game, which games do have achievements, which don't, and uh, how many people percentage-wise that played that game have the achievements. So that's a very interesting one. So folks, there we go, setting up Retro Achievements. Hope you uh, enjoyed that one and uh, happy gaming. Let me know what you think.